Hello everyone! Welcome to my new series, Exploring the Rimworld of Magic. The Rimworld of Magic is a fascinating mod that gives classes to your characters in Rimworld. Classes extend from gladiators and technomancers to necromancers and fire mages, and I wanted to take a look at how all of these classes function what they do, what their abilities look like, and make a series on it. That way, we can all just reference it for when we want to pick out what is our favorite class. Alright, so obviously the first thing we're going to want to know about when it comes to Rimworld of Magic is what stats affect our magic users. To that instance, as you can see, I loaded in 11 instances of the exact same guy. So all of them are named Bug Bug, as you can see, with various iterative names, and they all have the same traits. They're all wanderers, so all of them have the plus two movement speed, minus 10 work speed, immunity gain, psychic sensitivity, all of that is the same for them. I don't know if their spells will be the same, but that's not as important here because all of them are level zero, no clarity or anything. So as you can see, our base bug bug here has a max of 100 mana, has a double passion in both crafting and intellect, and yeah, no skill. Now, what I've been told is that intellect and crafting are the two skills that most affect your magic. And if we go over to the work table here, we even see we've got a little magic tab and it says relevant skills, intellectual and crafting. So this is performing arcane tasks and magic dependent tasks. This will be for objects we go to test later on. Yeah, so work magic, charge arcane objects. So if it's all intellect and crafting, then we should be able to go to our next guy, and he has a 5 in intellect. He's apparently been gaining social while being here. Fantastic. But his mana is still only 100. Okay, that was actually unexpected. I actually thought that he would have more mana. Um, okay. So let's go up to our next iteration of Bug Bug, number 3. He's got 5 in crafting, and still 100. As we move up through, we can see the various Bug Bugs iterate and gain intellect and crafting as we go up the ranks but it looks like none of them have higher mana huh okay that was actually unexpected i genuinely thought that having a higher intellect and crafting would mean they have more mana all right so this time what we're gonna do is we've got a bunch of instances of bug bug so we've got bug bug himself double passion no skill and then bug brain max intelligence no crafting bug craft max crafting no intelligence and bug bug max who has max crafting and intelligence as you can see all of them once again have the same mana pool all of them once again are wanderers and we're gonna strap them to some batteries and see who does the best at charging their batteries? So, let's get all the men into place. Alright, so we're gonna see who can generate the most mana for their battery here. They should all have the same current mana, they do not. Alright, let's let time tick along until they reach 100 mana. Alright, so, I guess they fucking started doing it on their own. Okay. Yeah, they've all started doing it on their own. It looks like they started going at about 90 mana. So we'll see if any of them generate more mana than the others. All right. So they went through their first cycle of uploading mana, as we can see. And this one's at 35, which was done by Bugmax. All of them appear to be at 35. Okay. Bugmax has 59 mana. 59 59 59 okay so that seems to imply that your skills don't really affect arcane buildings at least not the capacitor all right so next up we're gonna have these boys install arcane forges and start working at them <sighs> what do we want to make with these have each one make one batch of mana weave maybe and we will even details the first one's for bug brain the second one will be Bug Max. 
the third. Ah, okay. So it's for accomplishing different crafts. Bug Bug and Bug Craft should not be able to do these works. Are not able to do these works. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's see. We're going to set these people's skills. We're going to mess around with their skills. So Bug Craft now has five intellect, which should be enough to make this, right? So, Bugcraft has 5 intellect. Bug Bug Max is going to keep the 20 intellect. Bug Bug is going to get 10. And Bug Brain gets set to 15. Now, I had to recruit all of these guys to get them to stop jittering about the screen. And we can take advantage of this opportunity to get everybody up to max mana. Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, so now I've gotten these guys all up to their max of 100 mana. It took me a lot longer because they kept trying to charge the arcane capacitors that were set up over here. Alright, so what do we need for these? It's 25 cloth, 25 unrefined magicite. Well, we have plenty of goddamn cloth now. Each one. Two. 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 And just fucking in case. Alright, and we're gonna see which of these losers gets their their mana we've done first as well we're gonna want to see how much mana they spend to accomplish mana weave now we're gonna set their work schedule over here instead of focusing on construction each of you want to focus on crafting take them off of everything else we might it might be magic so we'll set it to magic as well All right unsuspend the bills first Okay, and they're off. Let's go! Okay, it looks like all four of them got done their mana weave bill relatively at the same time. Bug Bug got done first, which is a bit weird, right? So Bug Craft, who has five intellect, has 30 mana. Bug Bug Max. It looks like all of them spent relatively the same amount of mana. Yeah, with Bugcraft and uh, Bug Bug Max having spent, it looks like two less mana for this task. All right, we're gonna run that one a bit slower this time, but we're gonna do the same thing. Remember that Bug Bug and Bug Brain are at two less mana starting out, but that shouldn't have much of an effect here. All right, so they all grab up their Magicite. They're all coming over. Grabbing up the bug, the cloth, and they're going to town on their mana weave. So, Bug Brain, who has zero craft and 15 intellect, and Bug Max, who has 19 crafting, 19 intellect, got done first. And it looks like they're down by about 30 mana. Bug Bug, and it looks like he's down about the same 30. Huh. Okay, yeah. So they don't appear to accomplish the same tasks any faster. Um, they don't generate more mana in the Arcane Capacitor, and they don't accomplish tasks any faster. All right, well, I'm going to admit that's a bit of a surprise. I heard that the... Uh that their skills were like a really big deal or i thought that i i thought that's what was meant by that but it looks like all it really does is affects what recipes they can do that is interesting nonetheless okay have they gained different levels of experience they have but it all looks inconsistent does having lower skills give you more experience or something all right yeah it looks like they've gained about the same amount of xp with um weirdly bug brain and bug max having gained less experience than bug bug or bug craft i think I think that's going to be it for now. So what we've determined is that your skill levels control what you can craft, but not how fast you craft it. Nor does it affect how much mana you spend to accomplish said tasks. So skills are important as gates, but not as anything else. And that's, yeah, that's going to be it for now. If you guys are interested, 
You can join me every night over on Twitch from 8 p.m. till 2 a.m. thereabouts, where I stream RimWorld using RimWorld of Magic. Uh, there will be a link down in the description. If you're interested in seeing more of these, hit the like button and possibly subscribe for more content just like this. In the meantime, though, just remember, nobody's cares. Thank you very much and good night. We know this man's one weakness. Piddle on him! Piddle for your life! Just pee on the bad guy! Pee on the bad guy! Yes! Get pissed. Alright. We're going. We're just gonna go now.